friend, Crystal here. Thanks for joining me this week. I want to dive into a marketing strategy for small product businesses and generally what that would look like. I'm also going to go into three things that you need to know first before you start really doubling down on your marketing and getting ready to ramp up. So let's dive in. First, before developing um, your marketing strategy and deciding what you're gonna do and how you wanna market your business, you want to look at three key things first. The first one being that you need to know your brand. And I say that and people are like, ah, oh, I hear branding all the time. I'm not talking about going and spending necessarily 10, 15, $20,000 on branding. I'm talking about just knowing your brand and setting parameters around how you want your brand to be and how you want it to show up. There are so many times where I've worked with businesses, whether it's just on the photography and videography side of it, or on the marketing side of things, and they don't really know their brand very well, or they haven't put a lot of thought to parameters that they realize are actually very important, such as your brand voice, or your colors, or which ones are your primary colors, like which ones do you want to be used the most versus the secondary where those might be used in graphics and things like that. So identifying those key important pieces are necessary for doing marketing, especially if you're going to end up hiring somebody else at some point to help you do all of that. So keep that in mind versus branding. The second thing is to know your budget. That sounds silly, but it's very, very true. If you're getting ready to hire someone for marketing or you're getting ready to put any dollars into marketing, you gotta know what your budget is. You've gotta know what you can do and then maybe start planning ahead to save up because you know quality photos and videos are very key to being able to show up on social media as well as having your brand taken as a professional level so you know you're going to have to make that investment. So what is that going to look like for you? And if you're getting ready to step it up because you know you need someone focused solely around helping you with your marketing strategy and executing all of that, then you need to look at your budget and decide what's gonna work best for you. That's gonna help you figure out who you can hire and who can help you with what you're doing. And the third thing that you need before you get started is to know your ideal client. Your ideal client is not everybody. You need to know who you're after though. Everybody might buy your product, but there are certain people with certain traits and certain habits in a certain age group that are gonna be most drawn to what you have to offer. And you need to know who that person is because it's gonna help you take it a step further when you're looking at their actual buying habits. Did you know there are certain types of buyers that tend to buy around Christmas time. I'm gonna talk about that in an upcoming YouTube video, so watch for that. But there are certain types of buyer personalities that you wanna target and not knowing who your ideal client is is not gonna really help you narrow in on what type of buying personality that person might have and then what kind of content strategy you need to put into place to really be able to make sure that that person clicks buy. So now that we've gone over the three things that you need to know, let's talk specifically about the strategy. We know that we need to plan ahead. Majority of the time, any photos and videos and things that are created or curated specifically for our marketing purposes generally need to happen three to four weeks before we wanna to start to execute that. That way we have enough time to plan that out, get that going, let the photographer edit everything, get it back to us, and then shove everything over to our marketing plan to start repurposing and putting that content everywhere. So having quality videos and photo are extremely important. The good news is that having one of your smartphones is a good idea to get any of your content. And now people wanna see a lot of behind the scenes, so it makes it very easy and obtainable. But keep in mind, what is good on social may not always work as well on ads. So you kind of have to find a good balance between the two, but having those quality photos and videos are going to be very important. So make sure that when you're recording with your phone, you clean off your phone because your camera gets dirty as well as your phone does. So make sure to clean off your phone, make sure you have a well-lit space, add some extra light in so that everything looks really good, and then record yourself and your team going through motions, doing unboxings, and all of those fun things that are going to really help you step up your content game here in the fall. If you're good about planning ahead, then you'll want to know that you need to do a testing phase. The testing phase is really gonna help you see in your business what's gonna be best and where you need to spend your time. We are in a very, very saturated market. One thing that COVID did for a lot of us was helped us start an online business, but what COVID also did was help everybody start an online business. And so since there are so many people on there and there are so many things being driven towards social media and the traffic there, we need to make sure that you can stand out. That means you want to test your content 
in a couple of different places to see what is responsive. Generally, to do a successful testing phase, you wanna do about 30 to 60 days worth of time to be able to really effectively measure what's working and what's converting to sales. That also means that you need to make sure you have everything in place in terms of your um, pixels and your short links and any other way that you might be able to track the clicks that get to the page and then of course looking at your products to see what products are selling which ones are selling better than others where there's certain deals and things that really pulled people in all of those measurable metrics that are going to help you decide what your holiday campaigns or even maybe something going into spring and summer what that might look like so make sure that you take time to test what could you do to get started testing and what might that look like well you could generally test I would say one to two platforms at a time, um, sometimes three, but I would say two is probably pretty good. Generally, most people wanna test Instagram, that's a given. A lot of people nowadays are trying to test TikTok as well, uh, but again, decide what works best for your business, pick those two platforms, and then generate a couple of types of content that you can put out there. So maybe for Instagram, it's centered around a couple of videos for your best-selling products. And then maybe for TikTok, you're going to do those same best-selling products with a couple of different TikTok videos that you can put over there. Posting and optimizing, adding captions and things like that. And then giving yourself about 30 to 45 days, put a reminder on your calendar to go in and check the the analytics and see did I get any sales from that how many views am I getting am I getting clicks are people doing something with the videos and the content that I'm putting out there and then evaluate if TikTok's really not going anywhere maybe it's not the platform for you that's totally okay then look at Instagram is Instagram doing better or are there other platforms that you could branch out and test more content on? But make sure you go through a testing phase to really see what's working because a lot of successful agencies, as well as our own, make sure that we test and evaluate so that you're constantly able to pivot and double down on what is working. That goes into that full evaluation phase. You need to look at all areas of your marketing not just social media. Social media might be one pillar, but a lot of these successful product-based businesses that I work with generally find that social media is a great place to create awareness, but it's not actually where they're getting their sales. They may get more sales from their emails. They get more sales from building that email list and being able to email deals and specials out to that email list than they will spending time on social media. In some cases, their SEO optimization is more important for their business and the sales that they're getting because people are searching for things via Google or via Pinterest. So think about the last time you went through a search. When you went on to search for, I don't know, Starbucks or Target, or you went to go look for some new shoes for your kids, where did you go to search for that? Did you go to social media to search for it? And then see if that's really what's working for your business. It'll be surprising to see what your own habits are because sometimes we forget to stop back and put that human element in of, hey, you know what? I went and I searched, but I actually searched on Google when I was looking for something or I went and I searched on Pinterest when I was looking for some ideas for fall decor and you're spending your time all on Instagram instead of maybe on Pinterest. So think about those things when it goes through. It comes down to those, again, buying personalities, knowing your ideal avatar. You see how all of these things come full circle. So when you're doing your testing phase, make sure to evaluate everything. So if you are in multiple areas, maybe you have already spread out to a couple of different platforms and you find that you're repurposing content in a few places, make sure to really focus on that so that when it comes to where you're gonna focus your efforts in the next couple of months or maybe during that holiday season ramp up, you really know where you wanna put your money, especially when it comes to things like ads or hiring a marketing manager to really help you get the best reach and following and of course conversions. And the last thing which I kind of already touched on was making sure to double down. Part of what my job is as a creative agency is to not only provide creative perspective, photos, videos, content, all of those things, it's also to make sure that we double down in the areas that are working. We evaluate everything that is put out there. We make sure that we're looking at all of the social media channels, emails, and all of those things. But really what we wanna do is find out what is actually working and where those sales are coming from and double down on that. So if the sales are coming from referrals or the sales were coming from emails or maybe they were even coming from Google, people just searching or even searching Facebook, Facebook's still there. <laughs> 
wherever they're coming from that we make sure we double down and we hone in on that particular area and we start creating more content. Not only are we looking at where the sales are coming from, but we're also looking at the type of content that's converting. Is it the blog posts? Are the blog posts driving a significant amount of traffic that's putting somebody on your site that's giving them the discount code that pops up and causing them to actually purchase? Are those the kinds of things that are working? That blog that may be converting really well has a lot of clicks and a lot of interest and a lot of impressions by Pinterest might be worth going in and seeing if we can do a spinoff of that to optimize on the fact that that did really well and creating more content just like it so that everything else starts to convert really well also. So doubling down is not just about looking at what platforms, it's also looking at what type of content is working best for you out there right now. And so now you have hopefully a really good idea of how you can have a good marketing strategy for your small product business. We all know it can be a lot to take on, but give yourself some time. Sadly, it does take time. And right now, a lot of us don't wanna give time to actually seeing the marketing efforts work because we want things to work and we want them to work right now. But really marketing is about setting up a long-term strategy and plan that's going to work for you consistently time and time again. And the more you get more tuned into what content works best for your audience, the better your business is going to get. And then it's just going to snowball and it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger from there. And that said too, just make sure to keep in mind that the true investment in time for marketing strategies and to really start getting success in marketing is typically three to six months because you are going through these phases. You are testing things out. You're seeing what works. You're seeing where your audience is showing up and you're getting to know them better and better. And I know that can sound extremely overwhelming. That's why there are creative agencies just like us that help manage and oversee those things, help you execute that marketing plan and make your dreams come true. Get your business to where you want it to be. So if you liked this video, if you found it informative, it was helpful for you, please click subscribe below. Make sure to like it, comment, leave me any notes. I'm happy to help. And of course, I'll leave you my link below because you can schedule a free consult with me at any point to talk a little bit about your marketing strategy, what we can do for you and how we can help you increase your sales.